Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If you're new, thank you so much for being here. If you're an OG, I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Um, I am currently in the room that we are renovating and you guys will see that in the next like five clips. That's going to be a big portion of what today's video is. I just did not do an intro or an outro yet. So here I am doing the intro. Um, I also did not show you what the room looked like beforehand. I do have a picture which I will insert right here for you. Um, essentially, we ripped up, there was green carpet there. We ripped that carpet up um, and then below it, we found out that they didn't put any form of padding below the carpet. Um, so we just had the wood that was there and you could tell that they had animals prior. Um, and there were fun little stains on the wood, um, which of course gives off an odor. So we used um, kilts is what it's called, and that is supposed to really help with odor. Um, that stuff is potent as flying farts. Um, so keep that in mind if you do end up having to use it. It is a very, very strong odor that it gives off, but it obviously is really good at neutralizing any form of rancid yuckiness. Um, we did one coat. I think we're going to do a second coat at some point um, just to use up the product essentially and make sure that we don't have any form of yucky smell coming from this room. Um, as you can see around me, the room is not completely done yet. Um, we still have these pieces right here that we need to paint white. And then we attempted to do trim that we're probably going to have to remove and redo because we are new at this. We don't know what we're doing and we're just kind of making it up as we go. Um, which you can probably tell if you're any form of decent at home renovation. We don't know what we're doing, <laughs> but we've done lots of uh, research online and we're starting to get the hang of it, I think. Um, so we have a little bit of work left to do here. We also need to put new carpet in. Um, so obviously we need to get the pad and then we need to get the carpet at some point. Um, but as of right now, we're kind of focusing on the walls and we're about, I'd say 75% done. We're almost done with that. Um, so I just wanted to quickly give you a little bit of info because I literally just started recording us renovating and didn't say anything about it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll zip it so you can continue to watch. What are you guys doing in my room? <laughs> you guys are messing my room up. I like the way it was.
Hello. Um, we are now to the painting stage. So we did three layers of compound. Sand that bad boy down so it's nice and smooth. Which now that I'm looking at it, um, I don't think it's as smooth as I would like it to be. But that's all right. Um, and now we're going to paint. <sighs> Wish me luck. Always uh, and forever, sorry about the lighting. I'm doing this at, at nine o'clock at night, so. Enjoy us painting. Hello, editing Amanda here. Um, I'm now looking back at the footage and I just need to quickly say that um, I do have a bra on in the painting clip. <laughs> that's not my boob, that's, that's my nude bra. Okay, just wanted to make sure that that was very well known because it really does kind of look like it could be my boob, but it's not, okay? Just wanted to tell you that. Choosing Starbucks, what can I get started for you today? Hi, um, could I have a grande ice brown sugar shaken espresso with a uh, vanilla sweet cream cold foam? Grande ice brown sugar almond shaken espresso, and then you wanted to add the sweet cream cold foam on top? Uh, yes please. Anything else? Um, yeah, could I also have a grande ice white chocolate mocha with a uh, sweet cream cold foam as well, and uh, caramel drizzle? Cold foam and the Anything else? No. Um, no, thank you. No? So no. It won't work. You need to have things specific for curly hair. Thank you. That's weird. Yeah. Any Thank you very much. Thank you. You too. Mm -hmm. You need to have things that are specific for curly hair. So you can't just put gel like normal hair styling gel what is it that you have it's like putty almost yeah you can't just put that in there it's not gonna do what you want it to do it's just gonna like straighten out your curls and make your hair frizzy you need to have like actual stuff that's going to define your curls so maybe when we go to the store you're so paint in there too <laughs> when we go to the store Maybe we could find stuff that are like specific for curly hair. Because right now your hair is just super frizzy because you keep brushing it out and not doing things with it. Super frizz. So it looks like you're growing another head. Super frizzy. Yo! Oh, I didn't ask for a straw. Oh, well, oh, oh no. no. You don't even have a backup. Oh no. Because I always don't ask. So I always use up my stash and now I'm. Stashless. Yoke. That's different than normal. Is it? Yeah. Uh oh. But I also normally like have the coffee bit because that was just really sweet. Mm. So it's good, is what you're saying. In your opinion, probably. It's drinkable. We're going to go to Anna's house. Um, it's really good. We don't go here super often, but when we're having a tree show day day. It's been a minute. It's been a long time since we have. <clears throat> but it's my last weekend before I start working re weekends again. So we're kind of doing all the stops. I woke up early and put makeup on. I got ready. He slept in until 10. I was up at 8. 
but it's okay. I, was, I had time to like relax. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and then I need to go to Salon Center because I need to do my hair again. I have the color and the processing solution, but I just need the actual gloss stuff. And then when we go to the store, we're gonna see if we can pick the woman's brain there and have her tell us what to get for your hair. Because I just don't know. I don't know. So that's the game plan. Um, I also need to get more work clothes because I'm obviously working more. So I need to have more things to wear. And all mine are pretty beat up and stained and gross. So that's also happening. And then later on today, we're going to go see Morbius at eight o'clock with it's my dad. Good. Yeah, it should be good, I think. Yeah. I was hearing some pretty awful things about Jared Leto though. Like he's not a good human. So I kind of was like, should we go to that movie and support him? But I'm like, we also go to see movies with lots of really poopy people. Yeah, it doesn't matter. A lot of actors aren't really that great of people, but they're good at acting. But he has like sexual assault things against him. Like underage sexual assault things. And he's like 50. He does not look like he's 50. Did you know no, that he, he's a good looking guy. he was in a cult? Like he had a cult? Oh, a following for him? Self? No, he literally, like, he wore all white, and it was an actual, like, retreat place that people would go to, and it was literally a cult. Whatever his band is called, I don't remember what it is, but he had a place where people would literally go and stay with him, and they would, like, do singing, and he would sit above, and they would be below him, like, sitting on the ground, all this stuff. I watched a video on it, because I was interested, but, yeah, even Cole Sprouse called him out. Cole Sprouse, I think on Twitter or something, saying like, oh, did you run out of 18-year-old models to reach out to? Something like oh. that. And he's like 50. He does not look like he's 50. No. He has a good skincare routine, that boy. He's got something. I look older than him. Maybe he drinks the blood of, like, I don't know, his victims? Hashtag Morbius. Like the movie? <laughs> you took that in a very strange it's direction. It's dark. <laughs> Yeah, but I read up, well, I didn't read up, I listened to someone talk about that, and that was pretty weird. Cole like Sprouth, it. isn't he just, like, mostly he trolls people, though, to be fair? I mean, he trolls people that need to be trolled. Yeah. I mean, it's funny regardless, kind of. I mean, and if it's, like, a well-known fact. There was even, like, famous people that commented on his tweet. Oh. And there are, like, people from the age of, like, 15. Like, there's, like, a, uh, there's, like, multiple cases against him. I'm like, why are we allowing people that have multiple cases against them to be so high up in this world? Like, that's just awful. Epstein Island, bruh. Really? It was something island. The cult place. It was whatever his band was called. It starts with an M. That island. And it was literally like a retreat place. Everybody wore white. It was freaking weird. Hmm. I don't know. I don't subscribe to it. But here I am going to see a movie. That's supporting him. I don't even know if he's a good actor. Hopefully. In this what is he in? Is. He played the Joker in Suicide oh, Squad. That's right. I, don't, I never saw that. Him. Oh, they didn't like him? No. He's like one of the least favorite Jokers, if not the least favorite. And like, he tried to go method, quote unquote, with it. So like before, in his like RV or whatever, he kept like sending his other castmates like dead bats and dead mice and stuff. In like rot boxes. Because he wanted to be like, uh, cause he was the Joker right after. Heath Ledger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to be creepy like, Heath, but Heath wasn't he wasn't creepy outside of acting. No, he wasn't like being freaking weird to other people. That's odd. Right. Yeah. Hi. And he wasn't even good. Because he like overly sexualized the Joker. Yeah, there's something <laughs> off with him. Yeah. I thought it was funny though when like the first clip came out of him as the Joker and his laugh. No, what was he was that? just like Ha! 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 And I was like, what? I'm That's not the Joker <laughs> laugh. Not... <laughs> I was just upset. I'm like, what? Hmm. What's this? 
I wonder if I have my cozy in here. <gasps> I do. Jenna got me this. Oh, it's a Java sock. My apologies. Java sock. Oh. I keep it in the car because that's obviously when I have my drinks. So hopefully that will stay decent while we're in there. I guess we can go in now. Okay. Bye, guys. Look at that! It's huge! Oh yeah. Look at her. Look at her. Show me. I don't know, not my hand. Yikes. Not my hand. <laughs> That's fine. Not my knuckle. We secured the bag. We secured the package. <laughs> I love that. That is literally, that's how I feel, right there. That's it, right there. I gotta show the people what we got, so hold on. Don't don't be going too far. Don't be going too far, I'm gonna start to panic. I'm gonna start, gonna um, start to panic soon. I didn't know you were recording it. <laughs> show them the goods. I showed you when we were in the store, but that's me showing you it again. So starting out strong, we got the Dolce, Sol de Janeiro. We got the sole, starting out strong. <laughs> we got Butchered. The, the sole Janeiro Rio Dio Why can't you aluminum like free deodorant. The bum bum. It's deodorant. not bum, it does it say bum bum cream on it? No. It's the same stuff, right? It smells like bum bum cream. I'm opening this, hope that's okay. Um, Got this for Donovan actually, because he really loved the way that it smelled. And if I'm honest, I'm probably gonna steal it and also wear it. I'll hide it. So don't be getting your man hair on my deodorant. She's joking. I shave my underarms. <sighs> Ugh. Smells, Smells that, so, so good. That can't um, be useful as a deodorant. Not a chance. Do not do the math on how much we spent. Don't do it. We're not going to talk about that. Um, I also aggro. picked up the Josie Marin whipped argan oil body butter are you sure it's not jose yes um she's been around for actually a long time this brand um everyone was really obsessed she had an oil at one point it's kind of what started her whole brand thing um i got the unscented one because the other scents didn't even smell good so i just went with unscented donovan said that there still was a scent to it but what does he know um essentially it just makes your skin look super shiny like really really hydrated it has some kind of like it's probably the argan oil in it i would assume that just literally makes you look shiny and beautiful and pretty i will show you some point what it looks like on and then uh did i need this absolutely not i work at bath and body works and i have 19 billion trillion other body creams and i just bought one from target but donovan talks me into things he doesn't talk me out of things like most husbands do. He talks me in to things. So. We're for the cause. This is the, I don't know how to say it. Team Beja player. Flor, Flower Kiss in Brazil. Um, bum bum cream, essentially. I was told that this smells like a really super popular perfume I saw on TikTok, which is why I smelled it. That is sweet. That's fire. That's next level. Absolutely. Honestly, I feel like this uh, kind of smells like the um, perfume that I got in a body cream. The Burberry one, the Her one. Yes. Kind of smells like that in a body cream. Yeah. Do you think so? It's just yes. very sweet. Oh, I love that. Absolutely obsessed with that. Um, I love anything that's the Sol de Janeiro brand comes out with. The stuff doesn't last super long, but for the time that it is on, it's great. That has retinol in it. I did not know that. I don't okay. know what that is. Um, it's like an anti-aging thing. It helps your retinas, right? Exactly. Um, <laughs> next up, I got a couple brushes because I do makeup on people as well, so I do brides a lot of the time. Not just dogs. Not <laughs> just dogs or myself. <laughs> I do it on other humans. So I have a bridal business where I will do the makeup for people. Um, and I have like six or seven brides this year 
Uh, so I decided that I wanted to pick up a couple more brushes and I've heard both of these are really good. So this one right here is the Sephora number 57 and then the big one right here is the number 70. Um, this one's for foundation and then this one I was told is really good for concealer. So grabbed both of those, got 30% off of those as I'm pretty sure. And then this is kind of where I blacked out if I'm honest. Um, I, I got the Tatcha water cream. This is a $70 cream. $70 for this. But look, look, I need to show you. It's a full experience. Let me show you. Like, mm, beautiful faces, beautiful futures. That's and then you have this little tab thing, and that's how you get it out. Like, look at this genius okay let me set that down and then not only is the packaging luxurious of the box the actual bottle packaging is so weighty like feel that oh and then on the inside they even like the marketing of all this stuff is just phenomenal that's yeah and then what? you have like a little golden spatula and that's how you take the product out like it is a full experience so like the tatcha product is ungodly expensive just too much money in my opinion but you are kind of paying for a full experience like it's a full spa type situation mm. and I'm just I'm very excited to give this a shot um, I currently use the Neutrogena water cream situation so I feel like it's going to be quite similar I'm hoping it's going to be at least somewhat similar and I don't break out from it um, but obviously I hope it's a heck of a lot better because I spent a lot more money on it. But I got that. And then I also got the Tatcha Essence is what it's called. Um, and this is supposed to be really good at like making the products that you have sink into your skin better. So you put this on after you like clean your face. And then any other product that you put on top of your skin after this is supposed to make it work that much better. And it's supposed to plump and soften your skin. Um, it improves skin textures and helps amplify the performance of all skincare. Kind of cool. I've never used an essence before. I don't like that they take this because I'm scared I'm going to rip the box. The box, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, no, it's not. But anyway, the bottle of this again is just very weighty. Feel that, and it's. I'm pretty sure it's glass, like the actual bottle is. Super, super nice. Very luxurious and you know what i'm in a kind of like treat yourself mood because you know i'm gonna be working a lot so i feel like i need to be able to have like a full routine that i love that de-stresses me have things that you're excited about you yes know. yes um i also picked up upside down i also picked up the um cinema secrets makeup brush cleanser um i use this to clean in between people um, and it's supposed to disinfect and clean off any product that you have on your brushes So I use this primarily for my kit um, when I do makeup on people and I just run out um, It lasts me forever though. I put it in a little spray bottle usually and then I clean my brushes like that So I just needed more of that Okay, last two guys. We're almost done. I Picked up a NARS radiant creamy concealer. This is a backup because I love this concealer. It's my favorite one. It's the one I'm wearing right now. I am going to send the hourglass back because I just don't absolutely love it. I love this one more. So I got a backup of this one and then I also picked up an Anastasia um, Brow Wiz. I haven't used these in forever and I remember really liking them and I just don't really fill my brows in. So I think having this on hand for the days that I do want to fill it in is a good thing. So that's the whole shebang. And I hope I love everything because that, like I said, was a lot of money. But it only happens once a year. You only have the Sephora sale once a year. And I'm pretty sure it's this week and next week, if I remember right, so. So only twice a year. No, it's only once a year and it lasts that whole time. Oh. I meant what I said, fool. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, I just wanna show you guys what I got. We're gonna go to the mall. I did pick up um, some stuff from Target. We went there after we went to Anna's house, uh, but it wasn't anything exciting. I literally just got white shirts for work. So, woohoo! That's where we're at. Okay, wanted to check in. See ya.
got a lot of tension back there right now. Okay, I got a hoodie. I forgot about that. I didn't really feel it that much on my neck. It was more my back that I felt it. Do, yeah, do you feel it? Not really. Try your lower back. My back is too arched right there. I, like, I can barely feel it touching my back at all. Hmm. Like, no cap. I'll move it up, though. Oh, that kind of hurts. Oh. <laughs> Riveting content, Donovan. Thank you so much for that. I know I'm helping out so much. Boo Boo's got his ducky too. We got him a little toy that's his duck that he loves. Let's crack back a little bit. This is the thing that we're talking about, we're using. It's quite an interesting shape, I'd say. Briggs is quite interested in smelling it as well. He takes it to his toy. Uh, but it's supposed to be really good <laughs> for, um, like, pressure points and things like that. Because all, like, the knobbies on here. And it's supposed to be used on, like, your lower back and <laughs> right at the base of your skull, too. Oh, it's so loud. Already. All right, my friends, that is it for today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Also, make sure to subscribe down below before you go. I will also have all of my social media linked down in the description box as well. If you would like to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, help yourself to that. Um, I think that's all I have left to say. Love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.